opening concert of the Pitt Greensburg Chorale and Chamber Singers. Since we saw you last, we have been on quite an adventure as we embarked on our first tour since 2013. Our trip shall forever be known as Chorale Unplugged as we braved a snowstorm and stayed two nights without hotel power and then sang for the easily dozens of New Jerseyans that could make it to our performances. <laughs> Added some live streaming from the beautiful Presbyterian Church in Newton, New Jersey, and a couple of singing flash mobs in Central Park, you've got a trip that went exactly as planned. <laughs> Seriously though, we are eternally grateful for your support. Your presence here, your contributions to our fundraisers, your encouragement of us as singers make this possible for us, and we thank you. Our opening set was driven first by great melody in the five-part Be Like the Bird Round, and in chant on the poetry of, of Bengali writer Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore wrote over 100 poems in his collection, Gitanjali, meaning song offerings. Composer Craig Heller Johnson, weaving two of the poems together, wrote that his words serve, I quote, as an invitation for singers and listeners alike to listen closely and acknowledge the gift of a deep inner calling that may be for both inner silence and inner singing, unquote. The set then finished with the rhythmically charged music of John Williams, who composed Exultante Lucy in 1987 for the Sense of Empire of the South. In our next set, Abed Habib by Joseph Reinberger is a meditation on coming together at close of day. The darkening shadows and the falling of night remind us of our mortality, and that it is our connections with others that bring so much meaning to the time we have. So, in this musical pair, the evening is caused not for mourning, but for gladness. In Haydn's jovial part song, we live, we love, we offer a toast, we circle up and sing together. The song is agile, both in melodic movement and a textural mix, shifting effortlessly from unified homophony to playful call and response. Come with us then into this night in song.
testament to the legacy of this group for the past decade. In the same year that Professor Bartley arrived on our campus, freshman Elliot Sheedy also began his studies and soon joined the crowd. After four years of Pitt Greensburg, Sheedy moved to Boston for graduate study in film, but he never broke his connection with Pitt Greensburg, and especially Corral. Writing and directing a short film as his thesis project, he asked Corral to take a soundtrack. In the fall of 2014, Corral recorded five pieces to be featured in the film, including Shine by Dr. Peter Fisher of Texas Tech, a song commissioned for the project and premiered by Corral. Shine is based on the oldest melody we have on record, the Song of Sakalos, a 2,000-year-old song found carved into an epitaph in trolleys near Ivan, Turkey, as an ode to the composer's wife. Siglos implores us to embrace the time we have, to focus on our dreams and joys. As long as you live, let light shine. Fisher said this melody is both the main tune and also the foundation of the thick and shimmering harmonies that permeate the work. In the film, the music underscored the final action ironically, as the protagonist has failed to live well as he faces his final fate, but we offer with awe and dedication to its beauty. We've heard the night in song. Now we are radiant as light shines through.
semester, I've had a second chance to bring Tyler Stompy's Two Joy to performance. For its premiere, I was a freshman, excited for the chance to be part of a new choral art. At the time, I said, To Joy means a lot to me, especially as a freshman. It lets me know that I'm going in a direction that's going to take me places as a student studying the arts. Coming to a college that sets opportunities like meeting a composer that wrote a piece specifically for the crowd and took time out of his life to come up from Georgia to speak with us and conduct the world premiere, now that's special. I must be a fortune teller because clearly I have gone places as I study music. Central Park, Times Square, snowy and powerless New Jersey. <laughs> to Joy reminds us that happiness to share is what carries us through dark valleys. The harmonies are at times brilliant, at times jarring and cranky for Dr. Muhammad. Most importantly, it's the most memorable text and melody inspires pairing for this program. And to Joy, we sing, though I walk in the valley for long, I still shall hear the echo of the song. This song reminds us that music reverberates and remains ever present for us. Just as a love from long ago still resonates, as captured in Christina Rossetti's poem, Echo. So here for choir and piano by Minnesota's composer, Bethany Meyer, this music is surprisingly welcoming and inspiring. It is a mollifying turn from a loving, longing for a love and life now past to still feeling pulse for pulse and breath for breath that life and love ever presents with us.
again for coming to share in all of this music tonight. This theme of in song speaks so much to what it means for all of us to live a life in song, to share in time together in song, and most especially to offer with all of you all of this. And we hope that it reaches you if this is the first time you've ever heard this, or for some of you who've been coming pretty regularly for 10 years, hi mom, hi Craig, uh, you probably recognize some of these. In a year where we tour, we went back into pieces that have been special to us, pieces that we uh, that this group first performed way back uh, when Melissa Rachel was a freshman, uh, and Elliot, who was referenced earlier, uh, and reached back into pieces that have meant a lot to us. Uh, and offer a special thanks to all of us now here, because I'm pretty sure they're on the other end of that camera right now. Dr. Peter Fisher and almost Dr. Tyler Stoppy, thank you for giving us this music very much. <laughs> this concert, our, our finally spring concert, uh, has now very uh, often coincided with the university's honors convocation. Uh, where many members of, of the chorale were honored in one way or another uh, for their contribution to the university, for their service in clubs. Uh, wave your hand if you were honored in one way or another. You stood somewhere in uh, a crowd today. Or, uh, <laughs> delighted to be able to give two awards named uh, uh, for Joan Zaleskowitz, uh, uh, wife of the late Tad Zaleskowitz, who was a professor here for many years. Uh, he and his family have been and continue to be great supporters of all that we do here, so we're always able to name two awards. Uh, our rising sophomore winner of our Corral Scholarship is Katie Gidlin. <laughs> dedicated service as the newly elected chair of fundraising to help turn a piano into the Christmas ornaments that many of you got uh, when you were here in December is Meg Ning. <laughs> very fine performers and fine people, there is no rest for the weary. Uh, we hope that you'll come back for many, many uh, exciting performances that are happening within the next week. Uh, on Sunday at 4, for Red Eye, on Sunday at 4 over in Ferguson Theater, come catch 24 hours of creation, uh, a rehearsal and performance of Red Eye Theater. Who's doing Red Eye? Who people doing Red Eye? So these people are going to do Red Eye. Yeah. On yeah. Wednesday, the voice and piano recital, students of Matt Clump and Cindy Ortiz, who's performing on that. Yeah. Last folks. The very next day, a potpourri of musical performance, our cabaret, he's in the cabaret. He's in the cabaret. And then on Friday, one week from today, the Heinz Chapel Choir comes back. Who's in the Heinz Chapel Choir? Oh. Liars. Liars. <laughs> Liars. Our final song this evening on our program has become our annual song. It is one that was first introduced to me when I was sitting in Arizona. Uh, and brought it to Corral in the very first year uh, that I directed here. I brought it back again a few years later, and a few years later still, and then said, this is amazing. So many people of, of, from so many generations of Corral have had a chance to sing this. We should do this together. So as our annual song, please join me in welcoming back to the stage. Uh, some of our past singers of Corral are going to come join. <laughs>
sure we had a chance to sing in a church service, whereby we offered at the end of the service a blessing. We wish to offer the same for you tonight. 